Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Tuesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This particular little section of Scripture, we've only got about three verses. While it is small, it's very important that Luke and, in fact, other synoptic writers also preserved it in their Gospels because this was an emphasis that Jesus wanted to be sure that we saw. And that is that there is a big difference in the relationship that we have as sons and daughters of God than we do as sons and daughters biologically here on earth. And basically, the family uh, is important. It is the the uh, the most important uh a vessel here on earth for relationships. In fact, that's why uh, Pope St. John Paul II used to talk about the domestic church. And so the family is vitally important. But we have to also remember that Jesus at one point warned people that his message is going to cause division even within the family. That it's going to cause uh, mothers to come against daughters, fathers to come against sons, Uh, that there's going to be division based on the response to the gospel, response to the good news. There are some that will embrace it, some that will not. And so it's going to cause some division. And it's at this point that Jesus again makes the point, as he does here, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. As wonderful, as important, and as significant as biological families are, that the family of God, those who have responded to God's call and have connected with him in relationship, this is the most important relationship that we can possibly have. When you think about it, our earthly relationships within the family provide a legacy for the past, a linkage, And hopefully, as we continue to uh, encourage uh, families from one generation to the next, there is a following after the relationship that was established by the Lord, perhaps generations earlier, that that being Christian is a part of a normal family experience within uh, these families. At the same time, we recognize the fact that historically that doesn't always happen, that division has been brought. And sometimes in the history of the church that it's even a family member that has turned in another family member for being a follower of Christ. And so Jesus really wants us to make sure we understand the primacy of our relationship with God. And here, as he says, uh, my my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. One of the interesting things, of course, is that if you look at the Blessed Mother, if you look at Mary and you see her life, she was the divine mother of God, or the mother of the divine God, I should say, that she was the Theotokos, the mother of the Son of God. She was, in fact, uh, being uh, given a special place because of her biological relationship. But she also is an example of, of who is the follower of God. When he says, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it, she was the first to do that in many ways because of saying yes to the angel Gabriel when he gave her the message from the Lord concerning the birth of the Messiah that would be coming from her womb. And upon hearing that word from God, she acted upon it. Be it done unto me according to your word. So not only is she his biological mother, but she provides for us an example of being a spiritual mother in the sense of her relationship 
being one of obedience and one of divine relationship. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Whenever I come across a verse like this, it again uh, is a reminder that uh, for our earthly families, one of the best gifts that we can give them is a gift of a relationship with Jesus Christ, that our lives and our encouragement and our message to our children, our grandchildren, and every generation should be one of wanting to encourage and build in them faithfulness to the living God because that is the relationship that will give them eternal life. So if you're not already doing so, pray for your children, pray for your grandchildren. I know you already are doing this. And uh, just again, ask the Lord to rekindle if it has been uh, kind of snuffed out or maybe it never really engaged, but to kindle in them a fire of love for the Lord. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.